you short. Yeah, somebody is. You're not eating your pancakes. With syrup? You know how I feel about products derived from trees. Well, they're Canadian trees. Breakfast for dinner? Again? Why can't we go someplace slick? No, not after what happened last time I took you to someplace nice. That skanky server had it coming. And she heard of service with a smile? Well, you didn't have to spit on her. Me? You're the one that loogied that louse. Not as I recall. Your memory is very selective. We have an audition tomorrow. At the comedy club? No. Cable Access Network. The host of their old children's program passed away. And they're looking for someone new to fill the slot. <laughs> Which slot are they trying to fill? Slot. It's the 5 a.m. slot. What kind of kid watches cable access at 5 a.m.? It's a step in the right direction. Yeah. South. Do you remember the routine we worked on? Despite my best efforts to forget. Look, I don't want you acting up tomorrow. This is a chance for me to live out my dream. Oh, the dream where you're getting your physical from the sexy doctor, and when you dropped your pants, your pecker shriveled up. What? No. My dream of being a children's entertainer. A real entertainer. Ah, gag me with a rusty ladle. So, Mr. Lockjaw, how was school today? Driver's Ed was a hoot. Guess where I drove my teacher? I don't know. Where did you drive your teacher? To the brink of insanity. <laughs> well, I hope you're doing well in that class, Mr. Lockjaw, because automobile safety is very important. He failed me. What? Why? I said wrong way signs were stupid. Well, it's really not the signs that are the wrong way, it's the road. Then why don't they build the road the right way in the first place? It'd save a lot of money on signs. Well, it's not actually the roads that are wrong way, it's the cars that drive on them. Then they better build better cars. <laughs> well, it actually isn't the cars either, it's the people who drive the wrong way. Maybe we just need better drivers on the road. Well, that we can agree on. Okay, that's enough. Oh, fantastic. Simply fantastic. It was? Yes, you really got into the mindset of a child there. I mean, I'm not a child, so I wouldn't know, but... Uh, we have to assume... We assume that you really got into the head of a child. Best audition of the day. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, you have got something special. Very Mr. Rogers, a grandfatherly vibe. Grandfatherly? Cancel the rest of the auditions. There aren't any more auditions. Well, then don't schedule any more because you are definitely our man. <coughs> Men. Right, right. Well, let's get the paperwork signed and we can have you on the air on Monday. Airing reruns of Friendly Fred is just too confusing to the kids. What with his accident and all. Hmm? You, you are good to start on Monday, right? Oh, right there. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Darren will work on some material with you over the weekend, and after that, it's simply a matter of setting you up with the right puppet. Now, the contract runs for a term of two months on a trial period. Right puppet? Maybe the soft, fuzzy type, like Cookie Monster or The Count. <laughs> Cookie Monster is an addict, and Count Dracula has a severe case of OCD. He doesn't have to act like those. Just closer to that look. Something a little less harsh. I'm an adult, and I think he's creepy. 
Can't imagine what he will do to the children. I find you creepy, and I can't imagine what you do to children either. I like him. We don't validate parking. Are we there yet? I'm tired of being cooped up in here. I've got things to do. Miles! Are you still giving me the silent treatment? You did want that lame job anyway. We're meant for better things than cable access. Yeah, hello? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We can be there right away. Got anything else, Deep Throat? I also did Ben Franklin impersonations. Next! Go fly a kite, Ben. Hi, I, I'm Miles, and this is... I can talk for myself, dummy. I'm Mr. Lockjaw, the brains behind this operation. Ah, the ventriloquist, huh? Mm. I gotta tell ya, I don't normally represent those, but I got a special request from a high-value client. Most people just find the dummies creepy, and they sort of went out in the 60s. <laughs> Looks like that's not the only thing that went out in the 60s. <laughs> You're not afraid to speak your mind, are you? Who, Miles? He's afraid of everything. You really commit to the bit, don't you? Um, <clears throat> Mr. Lockjaw, <clears throat> how was school today? <sighs> oh, it was great. Oh, how's that? We learned that apples contain traces of cyanide. So I gave my teacher a whole bushel. Oh, a, a whole bushel of apples? No. Cyanide tablets. You're changing the bit. All right, all right. I, I get the picture. I've already scheduled the gig. You were the only ventriloquist who returned my call, so it's tomorrow at three. Really? Uh, that's, that's great. That's... Don't screw it up. Mr. Carone has vast resources, and I do not want to end up on his wall of shame. No, we won't, and and I'll make sure that Mr. Lockjaw is on his best behavior. Mr. Lockjaw, all right. You know, that's a bit dark for the kitties. How did you come up with that, anyway? Well, um... No, never mind. I don't care. I'm going to put you down as Miles and uh, Mr. Snuggles. Mr. Snuggles? Are you kidding me? If you think for a second I'm going to go by the name of Mr. Snuggles, then I've got a rickety bridge to sell you, lady. I think these turned out really great. We're in business now. Real headshots and everything. You need a shot in the head. It's terrifying. Oh, it's funny. Happy it's the creepiest birthday, thing I've ever seen. Happy birthday, dear, dear, in Vito. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Vito. It ain't creepy. I had a teacher who had one of those. They're funny. They ain't funny. What do you know, anyway? Look at the little girl. She's terrified. <laughs> it's okay. Um. It's okay. Hey, there's nothing to be afraid of. Is there Mr. L Mr. Snuggles? Depends. He's just joking. Hmm? Here. See the switch? That moves his mouth. 
Go ahead, try. Who's strumming my vocal cords? See, he can't hurt you. He's just a puppet. See, she likes it. Till it comes back for revenge and her nightmares. Uh huh. Ta da! Little boys and girls with hollow wooden heads, line them all up and put them in their beds. If they don't mind what their mother said, what are you doing here anyway? It's Vito's birthday. So? So, he's my son. What do you mean, so? So you ain't got to work? No, taking the day. Really? Because here comes Jimmy. Shit. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell am I doing here? You said time was of the essence. Tell me your name. First name, Joe. Go find him. I already found him. Where? He's in your basement with Waz. In my basement? It's my kid's goddamn birthday party. What's he doing in my basement? I get it. I love cake too, but you said time was of the essence. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lockjaw, you're supposed to be singing. <laughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Uh, Mr. Uh, Snuggles and I have to go to the restroom. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's your bathroom? How do you make them pee? That's personal. It's in that way. Maybe it's this way. Hey. Is, is he okay? No, he's not okay. Neither are you. I was just looking for the... You were looking for trouble. Did we find it? I'm still not clear. Is this all for real or are you shitting me? I'll let you handle your own shitting, thank you very much. What am I supposed to do with this guy? Well, I can give him a knuckle sandwich and him with a boot in the ass souffle for dessert. That sounds a bit too rich for my taste. And no appetizers. I wouldn't have taken you for a cheap ass, Mr. Crone. Uh, look, uh, we can just pretend like none of this ever happened, and you can talk to your passed out man and complete your friendly conversation. Uh, like, and we'll just be on our way. You know, I have a rule. I never trust a man with two faces. And you got two voices to boot. And I'll keep both of them silent, I promise. Oh, oh, okay. I have your word on that, then. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sure, I'll keep quiet. Just as long as you pay a fair price for that silence. Oh, you hearing this guy? You think I'm gonna pay to keep your wooden trap shut, huh? Oh, I'm not asking much. What's the current market rate for blackmail after taxes? It'd be a lot cheaper to have you disappeared. Nobody would ever find you. You sure about that? I'm sure. Oh, shit, Miles. He must have deduced how few friends you have. We're not going to say anything to anyone, and you don't have to pay us a red cent. You're damn right I don't. You know why? You're going to be buried six feet deep with camel hair. Wake up, beautiful. You know, not to be little Waz's freight train like fists, but I figured you could take a few more derailments before blacking out on me. I didn't do Holy shit!
Get out of here! Oh, he. Not in it! Or do I need to drop towel and show you my doll? I did it. I took the drugs. Just, just get that thing out of here. Thing? Now we're really moving backwards. Yeah, yeah, hey, hang on, hang on. Get it away from me! You're saying you took my merchandise. That's what I'm hearing, right? This shipment from Juarez, yeah? Toy warehouse? So you're saying you took the drugs that were hidden in these? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, don't be too offended, little man. You're scared of her, too. She's not mine! I swear! I always plastid dip my pecker before premarital penetration. You blew a transport because you're afraid of a few baby dolls. I couldn't focus. Must have lost count! Just get me out of yeah, here! Yeah, yeah, I almost cut off ties with one of my best suppliers because of you. Maybe you should cut off something of his. Yeah, I should. Why is it like that, wouldn't he? Or better yet, I could let you spend the night with Charlie McCarthy here. We could have a sleepover with Howdy Doody and Snuggle Bear. Get it out of my face before I sandblast it! Ah, someone's angry. Did your daddy find you playing with dolls as a boy and teach you a lesson you could never forget? Or maybe they were your mother's vintage collectible dolls that you decapitated with firecrackers and she beat you for four straight days until your alcoholic father came home and put her head through the kitchen window before you had a chance to make amends. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do with it? I don't think we can kill a guy for being afraid of dolls, can we? What about a guy who plays with dolls? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. Look, cut Camel loose for me. You gotta understand, your career is over. You so much as deliver meals on wheels in this town, I will know about it. You'll be done. Are we understood? All right, get him out of my sight. Go on, get him out of here. Don't let any of the kids see him. Or well, my wife. You know a little bit too much about me now. It's my son's birthday today. I really don't want to kill anybody. You kind of did me a favor. I would have never known who stole my drugs. So, who took your uh, drugs? You know, maybe you should just forget about everything I said about killing and drugs, huh? An elephant never forgets, and my teeth are made of ivory. He's been overdramatic. My lips are sealed, and, and his can be stapled. <laughs> Get your hands stuck in a bear trap? If word of this ever gets out, I'm gonna take Mr. Snuggles here and whittle him into a coffin, and I'm gonna bury you in it. Not Snuggles. The name's Mr. Lockjaw. I think Mr. Carell likes us, Miles. We got lucky. I think he was feeling generous. And you were no help at all. I knew what I was doing. Carone could use us on his side. Oh, please. You don't know anything about the world of crime. But I know people. They're like eggs. Some are good, some are rotten. And I'm an expert at cracking them open. We are not torturing people for a living. For the hard-boiled cases, you can use that Da Vinci-esque mind of yours to whip up some Tinker Toy torture tricks. I'm, I'm not having this conversation with you. I don't want you to bring any of this up again. And that's final. Oh, and Miles? Yes? You told that little girl that I was just a puppet. I was just trying to make her feel better. Don't ever say that again. Oh, no, 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 no. All performers are independent contractors and are therefore responsible for their own... Okay. My lawyers will be in touch. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Carone. I hope I'm not in too late. Talent never sleeps. May I? Of course, of course. I'd like to talk to you about Mr. Lockjaw. Oh, you mean Mr. Snuggles? Yeah, sure. You want to book him for another gig? His calendar is wide open. Actually, yes. It's just I'd like to keep the bookings off the book. I mean, the IRS, we have some disagreements. Off book, huh? Sure, sure, we can do that. But there is a no paperwork fee. You know, it's hard to keep things organized up here without paperwork. And there's a legal services fee. You know, in case someone comes asking questions, we got to make sure we got everything in order. This should cover any no paperwork fees, as well as any legal coverage fees or any other fees you can think of. I'm planning a lot of parties. Hey, hello. What did you do at Mr. Carone's house? Oh, um, what? I gotta say, I'm surprised. What do you mean? Mr. Carone gave you rave reviews. He said you were one of the best performers he's ever seen. <laughs> really? We're going to make a lot of money together. Mr. Auburnson, I certainly hope you have some good news for Mr. Stanley. Well, it's been three days, still no drop by Pasenko. And no answer from his buddy Ricky either. Well, now you assured us this transition would go smoothly. Look, when you do a hostile takeover of somebody's business, not everybody falls in line. I seem to recall you had a bit to do with the aforementioned hostile takeover. Look. Pasenka's probably already in the breeze with the cash. Maybe we should do a write-off on this. Forget about it. No, 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 that won't be necessary. We already have someone to track him down now. What? Oh, who? Mr. Stanley has requested that you forward him the contact information of the interrogator that Mr. Carone was using. Mr. Stanley wants to ensure that all of Carone's old contacts commits to the new management. Besides, we hear he puts on quite the performance. Now, when we catch the weasel who's been stealing from us, and we will, let's just say that Mr. Stanley wants to make a show of it. Thank you so much. I'd rather be on the cement than buried in it.
along. Hey, buddy, what are you trying to do? Take out a mortgage? Smells like a rotten red snapper. Mr. Stanley, there's no air holes in this one. Yeah. Christ on a cracker. I want this one down, Scorcher. Right away. As you will, lads. Donut Dojo's down straight, Officer Dibble. You got a problem. Not here. If you wanted me to take in Pasenko, he's dead. Homicide's all over it. When did he cock it? Best guess, a couple days ago. Best guess? You can't get me an exact time. Hey, this isn't one of Shafley's. All right, I could pry, but it's just gonna raise questions. Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. We brought you on to do cop work. That's not why you brought me on, Stanley. If Pesenka is dead, like you're telling me that he is, by my fucking deductions, that still leaves one person for us to talk to. Ricky Charmer. Ricky fucking Charmer, pig. Use your resources. Look, I can't. Right, there's no warrants on him. If you can't do that, what bloody good are you? I'll see what I can pull. You better pull it like a fucking udder. You would best get right with the dualistic nature of your situation, my crooked friend. Motherfucker. Mr. Falski. Oh, I uh, have something for you. My, the rent is due in full tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it for you. Uh, I, I promise. Miles. Uh, Take a few days, but don't do anything to get the money. That will make it harder on yourself. No, I, I won't, Mr. Flasky. But I, I, I do need the money soon. Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Uh, I'll get but it. I can't do the repairs on the ceiling. Yes, I. I it will come crashing you. down on your head. Yes. account. My bank account is empty.
The rent is due. And that's my problem, how? You live here too? Unfortunately. Mr. Falsa gave me another couple days, but um... But, but, but. But you need me to spot you again. Look, I, I really think things will pick up again soon. I'm tired of wasting my time on your little sideshows. You know full well the only business that's booming is mine. It's just... It's not right. Yeah, it's not right until the rent is due and you come crying to me. That's not it. Drop the act, Miles. You know what we need to do. I know. I know. Shut your stack, Flapjack. Are we going to do this or not? I am not being argumentative. There. Look there. What about it? Take down a fresh grave? So what? You're in a cemetery where it's just... customary to bury people in fresh graves. Yeah. It's just a little chilly out. Let's get you buttoned up. You pulled some Rain Man shit here. That would be wasted on you. Hey, I know suits and numbers, and I'm damn good at it. Well, I'm good at fists and faces. You gonna let me in? Or should I take my business elsewhere? Your boyfriend increase your allowance. Huh? Zip it, LJ. <laughs> Avert your organic oglers. Shit. I thought you said you had the money. I did! Well, where is it? I have needs too, Miles. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna talk to Helena tomorrow. No, I'll talk to my contacts. Absolutely not. We're gonna talk to Helena and she's gonna get us a gig. But I... No, no, no. This is the only way. But if I... No, this is... You've left me no choice. But I got... Th this is final. Fine. You play in the circus, you get paid peanuts.
please stand. Right. When you saw that Miles twip today, why are you just supposed to cap in his feather? <laughs> ass. Huh? Cap in his ass, feather in his hat. <laughs> Whatever. Because Stanley would be expecting him. If I don't get him the interrogator, it, it seems even more suspicious. So there's that, you know. What happens when he gets Ricky in a room? Ricky? He won't spill anything, babe. Of course he will. What? You worked with that dummy for a year. He gets everything out of everybody. Yeah. Maybe we should just run now. What? While we still have our intestines intact. Nobody's running anywhere. I promised that we'd be king and queen. I'm formulating a plan. Well, what is it? I don't know. I said formulating. <laughs> formulating? Well, yeah. You should have just had Waz kill him. <laughs> or have Waz kill Ricky. How about that? How about I don't need him to kill anybody for me? That? Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You're such a pussy. Oh, yeah? Was I a pussy when I killed your ex? <laughs> Dino? Yeah, Dino. <laughs> Oh, he was an even bigger pussy than you. <laughs> What'd you do? You scissor him to death? Oh, fuck. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. do the under fives anymore. Well, yeah, he's an idiot. Spending that much on a polka dotted combo bun. And he should have expected. Exactly, exactly. They are projectile vomit machines. If something is not pouring out of one orifice, it's squirting out of another. Da, 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 da. It's me, sweet tits. <sighs> I gotta go. Double duty just walked in. Notice anything new? What? You grew about five feet? Freshly painted eyeballs. The bitches are going wild for them. I'll bet. What do you want, Miles? Speak directly to the talent, please. Mr. Lockjaw. Sir. Get out of my face and let me talk to Miles! <laughs> Any parties coming up? I told you, the grown days are behind us. Wait, what day is today? 17th. Oh, shit. Captain Cauliflower canceled. I guess today is your lucky day. Doink. Thanks, hon. Sorry, Balto. He was here first. Well, kids don't want to see this nut job. Of course kids don't want to see nut jobs. Is that what you're doing in front of them? Are you hearing this, Helena? Why don't you put the toy down and say your grown-up words to my face? I don't want to put my new set of eyes through that torture. Can you have a conversation without sticking your hand up this thing's ass? Can you believe this guy? Okay, guys. Balto, I have a gig for you, too, if you want it. Adult show. Okay, I don't want none of this minimum wage bullshit. Give me some spoiled brats with rich parents. I got addictions to keep up. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. At least you'll be surrounded by drunken poontang. AOL keyword poontang. All right, I'm in. Balto out, bitches. No, 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 no. Should have gave that strip show to me, too. Broads would have gone crazy for my balsa wood bone. Ricky Chalmer, we'd like a word. Open up. I can see ya. Who's Ricky? Ricky? He's a, uh, a good friend of ours. Wait, are you guys like British police or something? <laughs> no, 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 we ain't police. Why is he wearing a policeman's uniform? Well, he's police, it's I ain't. But you are British. I'm actually from Northern England. You could classify that as British, I suppose, yeah. 
What does that matter? Not everybody from Britain is a popo. Let us in, sir. Hey. Is he cool? Well, he's cooler than your cuts at Christmas time. Oh, right on. Uh. Wait, what? Cool as a cucumber. Cooler than your cuts. Cooler than John O'Groats. Bloody hell. Pong's in here, mate. I really like the sound of that British police siren. It's more like a woo. They're much more royal sounding, you know? They're like, woo, 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 woo. Not like ours. Ours are more like, woo, 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 woo. And yeah, Ricky Chalmer, he lived here. Let me check. Nah, he's not here. You know who he is though, right? What's his name? Ricky Bloody Chalmer. Oh, oh, I do know that dude. But I didn't know his middle name, so we called him the Chalamander. Yeah, he stayed here for a while. What's he up to right now? We're looking for him. You know where he stays now? You do know I'm a cop, right? Fuck, I'm a... <coughs> Where's Ricky live now? No idea. He just disappeared. And you have no idea where he may have gone. You don't know where his own brain's gone, this one. What's his name again? Power Bottom's Revenge. He's some type of crafty butcher. It's not mine. Like, I looked at it once, but it's not my thing. Like, I jacked off to it a few times. It's not, I mean, it was the best explosion I've had in my entire life. But it's not my thing. I mean, like... Whose thing is it? Oh. Um, the dude, this black dude, his name was like Ricky... Forgot his name. Ricky bloody something. Nice, huh? Paid for it, too. Title's in my name. Son, is this why you here? To show me a car? I gotta have more than one reason to come see you? No, just one reason. The right reason. Man, come off it, man. I'm doing good. Can't you just be happy for me? You shouldn't be concerned about what I'm thinking. You should be seeking the Lord's approval, not mine. Well, the Lord saw fit to bless me with this here ride. Guess he approves. Money's not the answer. You can't buy your way into heaven, Ricky. Says the man preaching charity while wearing a $600 suit. You come here to insult my church, my work? No, I came here thinking you give a shit about me. Looks like nothing's changed. I do give a shit about you, but you're right. Nothing's changed. That's the problem. If they don't mind what their mother said, father will make sure that they don't get fed. If I have to sing one more verse of this, I have to tell them a He's joke. He's a bad puppet. Knock, 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 knock. Who's there? Who did it? Wood. 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 Will you install a doorbell already? I'm tired of knocking. <laughs> You're not funny. Not funny. Yeah. Stop rooting him on, you rancid runts. <laughs> no. Tell something funny. Why don't you try something like we practiced? <clears throat> so, a Jew and a Pollock walk into a bar. <laughs> hey, kids! Who wants some balloon animals? <coughs> Hang on, one more coin. Clown! <laughs> How about a 
doggy. You make me Fabulous a doggy. A cactus. Okay. Yeah, cactus. I'll make a balloon with needles in it. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Everybody ready? Here we go. Right. <laughs> make each of us a balloon. I will, but right now, do you know what Smoka's cough is? Because that's what I'm suffering from. So you ordered a clown too. Uh, I didn't ask for a clown and I didn't ask for that. I told you Creepy. I wasn't spending any more money on this damn party. I didn't ask for that. I don't care what you make, yeah. you just make me something fabulous. I like that attitude. Swords and balloons for everybody, yay! 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 <laughs> Give me a second. This is just so like you. Mm -hmm. You know I hate clowns. And I did this And on what purpose. do you do? You did it on purpose. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for the clown. I didn't ask for the creepy doll. I asked for some superhero vegetable, like Captain Carrot or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. I didn't ask yeah. for any of this. Well, that doesn't look like a carrot or a superhero to me. That's okay. Everybody loves a clown, right? Nobody likes ventriloquists. Let's all say ventriloquists are stupid. Yay! Clowns are cool! Yay! What are you doing here, Balto? This is my show. Well, none of these stupid kids care about your stupid show. Now I'm tired of Helena giving you these pity party paycheck. She is not taking pity on me. me. She knows what good classical children's entertainment really is. Classical. Sticking your hand up a pine cone's ass. That's quality. All she sees in you is percentage. That's it, buddy. Hello. So could you please get the hell out of here with Pinocchio and let me show these brats what real entertainment is. Okay, thanks, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day, Geppetto. <coughs> the kids seem to be enjoying him. The kids are high on sugar. You can't even get your own daughter's party right. I'm surprised you're even here today. I open my heart to you, and look what you do. You open you your get heart for me. me a clown. You open yeah. your wallet for me. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. I know what gets you going. You gonna take that from him? The kids like him. And the kids like eating their own boogers. You gotta tell them what they like. And you gotta show that bozo reject what he won't like. Yeah, here you go, kid. It's a, uh, wiener dog. About the real green tonight. Enough for a private show? I brought enough for a week's worth of private show. <laughs> you couldn't handle a week of me. Be surprised what I can handle. Meet me in room three. Claustrophobic. How about you come by my place? You still staying with that Indian fool? No. I'm kicking it at the motel up the street. And the quick six? Those rooms are tinier than what I got back here. All right, all right. Let me go change and I'll meet you outside in 10, sexy. And here you go, here's something questionable to put in your mouth. When the Philly hits your eye like a blueberry pie, that's a moron. Oh, ah! Hey kids, what should I do with this creepy doll? Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if I ripped his head off? Yeah. Whoa. What if I broke his leg? Yeah. What if I plucked his eyes out? Yeah. I'm kind of scared by your enthusiasm, but I like it! Let's do it! Okay, now you need to do something. You go over.
know some and go check it you, out. What do you think about that? Hold your pedo. Looks like I'm sticking my hand up your ass now, bitch. Mr. Lockjaw. <laughs> Help! Help! Help him! Get him out of the pool! Get him, you dummy! <laughs> yes. Get back home, the dummy! <laughs> okay, you know what? You know off my property, both of you. Now. He started it. Yeah, well, I'm going to let the cops finish it if you don't get your ass off my property right now. I actually prefer cash, but if check is all you have, then that's fine. Yeah, suppose, check. So. I'll get a check in the mail as soon as you get done paying off the princess polka dot cake that I spent $150 for. Now get out of here. If you make the check out the vault, though, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, excuse me for one moment. If I could use that cake. Let's do that. So, um, Baldo, B-A-L-T. Oh, my God. Mike, drop. I'll take you to my place. Which is a couple miles up. Yeah, well, you, you've never been to my place. I, I got all the toys. Why'd you bring me here? Did they turn this old zoo into a loft or something? They... I... I don't know. Then why'd you bring me here? I'm sorry. What you do? Uh, uh, uh. 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 
note said nothing about tasing him. Yeah, I was a bit in the dark on the full plan, too. Get back into your little pea shooter and drive away, way, way. Where's my other half? Don't you worry not about your other half. You'll get it when you get it. Listen here, prim and proper. I know people. Who do you know? Well. Why don't your people contact my people? You just send a check whenever, man. Send a check. <laughs> All right, I'll be right on that. Listen, just just send them just send the money whenever. I, no rush. Not wasting a bloody stamp on you. Sling your bloody hook. Mail it to me. Cheeky bugger. Let's get him the fuck out of here. I'm not lifting him. He's a fat fucker. Cock a doodle bloody do, Mr. Charmer. There you are. Who are you? What the? Man, what is this? Let me go! What the hell is this? Let me go! Let me go! Where are you gonna go, Mr. Charmer? What the hell are you talking about? No, I think you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. Let me go. You just go running back and tell more stories and... <sighs> Mr. Chalmer, spend some more cash. Gone. Like it never existed. Starting to ring any bells. Hmm. Lurch, I had somebody to kill you. You did. I killed him. Well, I should have had two then, shouldn't I? <laughs> this is my job. You hire me for this, Stanley. I thought I was clear that your services were no longer necessary. What's clear is that he has information that you need and you pay me to get that information. No, I would have been happy to pay you too. If you weren't such a bloody greedy Gus. Seems as though you forgot the terms of our exclusivity agreement. You paid the market price. I wouldn't have to take all these small jobs around town. Well, that's got no to do with me, has it? Market rates dictated by the owner of the market. Herculani hasn't figured out that his shares aren't worth as much as they used to be. Well, if there's so much competition for your services, what are you doing here? You're working with the cops now? Shit. Herculani must be desperate. I'll make a little deal with you here. Why don't you bugger off and see the primates, go to the arachnids, don't show your face back here, and I won't send you a dry cleaning bill for my smashing suit, and I'll not waste another one of my men coming to execute you. Yeah, whatever. Bender. Have fun riding the SS Herculani. <laughs> it's about to hit an iceberg. <laughs> What the hell was that? That, Mr. Chalmer, 
is our old interrogator. You don't really worry your shiny dumb little head. I knew it was much more fun. Hmm. This chlorine is wrecking havoc with your synthetics. That Balto bastard has got to go! I'll talk to Helena tomorrow. When she finds out what he did, she'll fire him. I know it. Firing him is not a proper penalty for such a barbaric boob. I'm... I'm not so sure. Of course you're not sure. You're never sure. That's why you have me to take care of business. Both of our businesses. We'll talk about this later. There's nothing to talk about. I already have it all planned out. Now where's my ducky? I don't know. Where did you leave it? I didn't leave it anywhere. It's a ducky. It stays in the bath. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. Why couldn't you have given me eyelids, you mechanically maladroit melon head? It's cold, it's cold! Hello? Oh, one moment. Mr. Lockjaw. It's for you. Like a little trembling white hedgehog. What's that big 250 pound black man gonna do with you? He's gonna roll you along like a piece of pussy. That's what he's gonna do. No, I'm Miles. Mr. Lockjaw will be here shortly. What, what, what do you mean? You, you, who are you? I'm Miles. Mr. Lockjaw's liaison. Uh, personal assistant. I, I'm I'm responsible for Mr. Lockjaw's day-to-day -day operation. Oh, right then. Uh, um, do you have the information? We've been keeping an account on all these phone calls. There's a few addresses in there. Places frequented over the past couple of days. Phone numbers. Not much, but short notice, you know. Here's what it is. There's plenty here for Mr. Lockjaw to work with. And nobody would know, eh? He'll be here soon. I need to secure the patient. He's secure. There is a, a very specific process that must occur. If he isn't prepared according to Mr. Lockjaw's specifications, um, the interrogation is off. Oh, that would be a shame. I'm all for specifications. Let's uh, 
Let's get cracking. I got a bad feeling about this guy. You can always call lunch back. Listen, Ricky, I, I'd like it if you would just tell them what they want to hear. You know, just a couple words. And... Mr. Lockjaw doesn't even need to be here. I want to give you a little advice. Don't make fun of his height. He's got a bit of a Napoleon complex. And, and be sure to laugh at all of his jokes. He also has a bit of a Chevy Chase complex. That's one of mine. Mr. Lockjaw's sense of humor is, is different. I hope you're not easily offended. He says a lot of things that he doesn't really mean. He just wants to make people laugh. I think he's here. Forget the kids. Forget the balloons. This is where the party's at. What the fuck? He's this. What's it look like, jackass? You tell me. Tied to a chair and me making you spill your guts. What do you mind? Actually, it's just considered clinical depression. But I'm working on it with a good therapist. I was talking to him. Oh, Miles? He may not be the most brilliant baboon in the barrel, but he's not insane. Well, I ain't telling anyone shit, so you might as well kill me now. Oh, kill you? That's not my thing. Causing insurmountable pain and suffering is one thing, but killing you? That's the type of thing you end up burning in hell for, don't you think? Don't believe in it. A non-believer, eh? Don't like anyone controlling you? Something like that. Yeah, I like it if I could control myself. Do some simple things, even. I can't even jerk off without having this pencil dick operate my left arm. Which is strange, because I'm right-handed. I saw this perveroni try to use his left foot once. Mr. Lockjaw. Not my fault you left me at the end of your bed. You think I want to watch you try to put your hand to sleep to do the stranger wank? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Arnie's gonna ground us both up and put us in one of those oversized strombolies. Let's just cut this off now. Go back to Uncle Arnie empty handed. Hmm. If we don't find an answer to his plumbing problem by the end of tonight, he's gonna assume that we're all leaky taps. So, Ricky. Are we going to talk about your dirty little secret? I ain't got a goddamn thing to hide. Oh, everybody has something to hide. Miles has got a whole room full of secrets. Mr. Lockjaw, can we please keep this focused on him? Do I tell you how to operate my eyeballs? Didn't think so. Now shut your musty maw. Now, where were we? Oh, of course, your dirty little secrets. I see it. You don't know shit. I know all about your afternoon rendezvous. You wouldn't want anything to happen to your full-time boy toy now, would you? Like I said, you don't know shit. I know you have another man in your life. One who doesn't take it in the hole, but sure is holy. The choir boy here can't deal with the conflict of his pastor daddy's sermons. No! Yes! The sprinkler! No, no. He'll talk. Say anything, Ricky. Say anything. Get the sprinkler. Now! The hell you gonna do with
with that. Get some sort of Chinese water torture. You think a little drip drop, drip drop's gonna make me talk? Shit. I don't know anything! I just get orders handed down to me. I don't even know what this is all about. I was legit to Stanley the whole time. Okay, 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 okay. I, I heard about a little side business, but nobody said it was gonna hurt Herc. I'm dedicated to ask them. They know that, they know. You know that, Stanley! Oh, you're afraid to get wet, huh? Turn it on. Please, Ricky, say something, say anything. This can all be over. I said turn it on, you bald buffoon. Turn it off. Now, where were we? All oh, right, your secret sins. Turn it off! What fun would that be? If your father could only see you now. Then again, maybe he's already seen you getting sprayed in the face. <laughs> Turn it off! Bloody well right, we're not. We're the middlemen, our hands are cleaned. That's why we have an interrogator here. Okay, I'm not gonna let him mutilate this guy, all right? We'll get it out of him some other way. Officer, stand down. If you walk through that door, you know what happens. Hey, I've got one for you. You son of a bitch! Knock, 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 knock. You son of a bitch! Would you install a doorbell? I'm tired of knocking already. <laughs> don't even think about it. If you don't make like a Catholic and start confessing, your lover will be sitting in the hot seat too, and I'm not talking about your lap. Cooperation. I'm gonna have to torch Daddy's church! We, we can't do that, Mr. Longjo. We can't burn a place of God. Not like we haven't before. <laughs> How about I nail your Deuteronomy trolling Daddy to the cross and make him watch while I went you and your butt buddy into action? Just tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, let's do it during Sunday morning mass. We'll make a show of it. You and your boy toy doing a very special passion play while I burn everyone alive! Is that what you want? All those children screeching, screaming in their sheer shock as the fires fume and the stained glass shatters, slicing their ecclesiastical epidermises. The two men you love killed by your stubborn, money-grubbing mentality. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's so it over Oh! I was hoping you'd keep quiet. Oh. I was getting all excited for a good old fashioned church orgy arson massacre. Oh. Oh. You should probably turn that off now. What the hell? That it was Albertson? Or that he got it out of him? 
both. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I thought we were gonna be the king and queen. We can be the king and queen of Montenegro, okay? Well, what about Vito? We'll leave him a big bowl of food and water. Oh, lummy. Miles, 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 my main man. That were quite the uh, operation, as you say. <laughs> what are you thanking him for? I'm the mastermind behind this acidic extraction. That's right. Bravo, Mr. Lockjaw. Bravo indeed. Up your diddly divey do, you cornhole and crumpet. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Stanley. I, uh, I hope we can work together again. I do too. Got everything we needed out of him and more didn't we is everything okay miles uh, fine mr stanley you're sweating bullets oh, sorry um uh there's a car outside front entrance of the zoo you'll have all the spondulae Must have a pie in the oven. May I take your bag for you? No, I'll, I'll hold it. Very well. Hey, honeycomb, you ready for the Balto to enter? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so which one of your tramps got the blow? Because we need to get this party started. Come on, everybody, let's have a good time, yeah! It's time to bust out the hard liquor. You gonna scorch this? Nope. A little trouble at the funeral home. I'm gonna need you to make that body bag there disappear. Oh, I just cleaned that bloody mess. And now you're gonna finish the job too. I need to go home and attend to my missus. Little work to do. So I'm supposed to transport a dead body in my cruiser? I can't think of a better way to transport a body. See you tomorrow.
Yeah, that's what we like. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, we cross pollinate like motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Who wants to see my balloon animal? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Here we are. Just a few more stops. Cheap bitches. So for what? Did you come back to get your, your ass kicked again? Because I, I can do that for you. If, if you want. Hello? You're getting warmer. Hello? Here's somebody. I see you. Looks like somebody left their puppet here. Wouldn't want to see anything bad happen to him. Oh, I'd love to see something bad happen to you. Drop the at mile. Ever seen anything like this in all your years? All my years? What's that supposed to mean? It means you're old. Yeah, maybe. But if I learned one thing in all my years, 
said, as soon as you put one away, something crazier comes out of the woodwork. money like you thought you did. What? Stanley, you don't have to do this, man. <coughs> I know where, I know where the cash is. I don't know what Ricky told you. I, I didn't do anything. It was Vita. She was pulling all the strings. She got the cash. I started playing her before we eyes Corone. Stanley, are you listening? I don't think he can hear you. Looks like someone's not up on current affairs. Make sure they're nice and tight, Waz. Needs to be up to Mr. Lockjaw's specifications. No. What's the point? You already have the information. You have the drop cash. Oh, honey. I'm not doing this for information. I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> I thought we were the king and queen. I am the queen. And you're about to be royally flushed, Rain Man. Good one, Waz. Well, I believe he's here. both out of this. Listen, Miles. Call me LJ. Set for 